I want to go now in closing to a little subliminal piece that uh, Darren McBrien worked on. I contributed to this. <clears throat> a lot of other folks in the office did. And there's so many of these subliminals, we could spend an hour on just each one. But I want you to notice the Sharpie commercial in here. In, in the Sharpie commercial, it was up for one second. But when you slow it down, it says, don't protest. So the subliminal message is don't protest. Uh, they have uh, different shows where they implant that drug dealers who love Hitler, uh, like Ron Paul, that just flashes for a minute. Drug dealer, Hitler, Ron Paul. Uh, again, this is out there, and it's being put in everywhere. Why do they put sex everywhere? They put sex with beer commercials or ads or whatever because sex targets an area of the primitive area of the brain and puts you into a very suggestive area. That's why they have info babes looking at the teleprompter like they're in love with you. And men, I, I see guys around the office. I'm not knocking them. I point it out to them. They'll see a good-looking info babe, and I'll see everybody kind of smiling and going, yeah, that's her, yeah. And everybody's kind of, ooh, because you're meant in real world. You're looking at a high-def screen. When a woman's acting like that to you, she wants to mate with you. When she's, oh, oh, oh. And so they train them to sit there and go, oh, oh, and do all of this to literally put you into a primitive mode. So that's why they embed the word sex in everything as well, is to put you into that primitive mode. So we'll go ahead and go to this piece. Here it is. The following program is brought to you in living color. Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Once upon a time, there were two little girls who were in the past. Our feature presentation. Every day, our senses are being constantly bombarded by subliminal messages that are found in TV, movies, and advertisements. The subliminal messages we are subjected to are unrecognizable by the conscious mind and only recognizable in our subconscious mind. The messages and imagery are passively absorbed and then stored in our subconscious where propagandists deliberately implant artificial thoughts, which in turn can affect our actions and attitudes later in life. Experiments have shown that less than one minute after the viewer begins to watch television, the brain switches from beta-level consciousness, associated with active and logical thought, to alpha-level, which is associated with passive acceptance and suggestibility. This is why advertisers spend billions of dollars a year on commercials, as well as product placement within TV shows. Political messages are implanted in fictional TV programs as the relaxed, meditative state of the viewer is receptive to the programming. One example is AMC's Breaking Bad television series as it depicts a meth villain as a Ron Paul supporter. I, I, I looked him up. It's, uh, it was one of these physicists, one of Hitler's guys, he's a physicist named Werner Heisenberg. <laughs> Real cute, huh? In a basic college level marketing class, in, in, in your first year of radio, television, and film, at least for me, and, and then I've seen some other textbooks and curriculum and found it's also in those, but, but, but most RTF schooling, teaches you that they have had subliminals uh, for at least 70 years in the United States and Europe. And so, yes, there is subliminal messaging everywhere. It, it is all over the place. It's an absolute fact that they flicker it at a rate and that they have the televisions designed for that rate to bring you into a dreamlike state. I mean, it is a fact that within minutes, you go into a dream brainwave when watching television. Go read a book by the father of modern advertising, Edward Bernays, where he calls you a dumb slave and admits they run your whole life. I've read both his major books. One of them is called Propaganda. Edward Bernays. The conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses is an important element in democratic society. Those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government which is the true ruling power of our country. We are governed 
Our minds are molded, our tastes are formed, our ideas suggested, largely by men we've never heard of. This is a logical result of the way in which our democratic society is organized. They live, we sleep. And people that are in this hypnotic state, they love the servitude. They love the bondage. They, they, they defend their prison. And it's up to those of us to understand what's happening to educate people about this. Now, out of all the dozens, out of, all the dozens of examples that are shown uh, in those clips, I thought we'd go back and show you the Sharpie, where when you watch it in real time, it's like a second flashed up there where it says, don't protest. Just boom, don't protest. But then when you slow it down, you see it clearly. So your subconscious mind picks it up and sees it. But your conscious mind doesn't. And folks, this is what's scary. This is in almost everything. This is a whole class of people. The advertising class is more guilty than anybody. Hundreds of thousands of people in the U.S. alone who think this is funny, who think this is cute. There's subliminal, there's overt, there's color science going into this. Even people I've hired over the years who were great folks who went to normal school for this go, well, let's use subliminal to help people. And I've got to constantly say, well, that's a second long, it's not completely subliminal, but get it out of there. You know, I, I don't want to go there. Because we're so inculcated with subliminal, subliminally, that people that do this for a living then want to bring out subliminals. So be aware of it, understand it's going on. Let's play that Sharpie clip in regular time. What would the world be like without self-expression? There'd be no purpose. No passion. No putting it out. By the way, there's a bunch of subliminals in here, but you saw that less than half a second. And they've got people in front of it. So they're talking about there'd be no expression. So for people that consciously see it, the propaganda is so good, they're like, oh, they're saying there, there'd be no protesting. But for the general public, it's subliminal. Now let's go ahead and show it slowed down for you. Here it is. Because... Show it again. Stop protesting. Stop protesting. Folks, that was a power-packed InfoWars Nightly News for this Thursday, October 20th, 2011 edition.